Hello, my name is Michael Eicher. I am a PhD student from Friedrich Alexander University Erlangen Nuremberg. And today I'm going to present our work called uh, Low Latency Geo-Replicated State Machines with Guaranteed Rights. The applications we've been looking at uh, are ones uh, which uh, for consistent application require totally ordered uh, client requests uh, like a distributed queue where uh, clients can in queue and DQ messages or a log. And in order to get uh, such a uh, total order, we can use an agreement protocol like uh, Paxos or one of its variants and use it uh, to assign sequence number to request and then execute the request in that order. To do so, a client has to send its request to a leader replica, which uh, then uh, proposes the request for the next uh, free sequence number. The other replicas then accept that pro uh, proposal and broadcast the accept message. And once a replica has uh, collected uh, proposed and accept messages from a majority of replicas, then it knows uh, that uh, the sequence number assignment is uh, stable and then can execute the request and send a reply back to the client. Depending on uh, the location of the data replica, um, a client might uh, experience uh, different response times. You can avoid that uh, by using uh, multiple leaders uh, like in Mencius, uh, where uh, each leader is uh, responsible for a part of the sequence number, uh, sequence numbers, and a client can then uh, send its uh, request to its uh, local uh, replica, which then proposes a request for one of its sequence numbers, and afterwards uh, the protocol works as usual. However, uh, we can not execute a request uh, right now because there's still a gap in uh, the sequence numbers, which has to be closed first, and this is done via uh, skip messages. Once this is completed, uh, execution uh, request can be executed and can, uh, the client gets its reply. The problem uh, for a client is uh, that it uh, usually takes a long time uh, to get a reply uh, due to the high uh, wide-barrier communication latency. And this also applies uh, when the client is not really interested in the content of the reply, but rather uh, just wants a uh, guarantee that this request will be executed in the future. In order to uh, solve this uh, yeah, inefficiency, uh, I want a uh, replication protocol uh, that can provide uh, so-called guaranteed rights, uh, which can uh, which uh, represent such an uh, execution guarantee and uh, we also want uh, that uh, the requests are still uh, totally ordered uh, to maintain consistency among the replicas but uh, the client should also have uh, the possibility to choose uh, between uh, different consistency levels uh, for the requests uh, just as uh, these are needed. And all this uh, should work uh, with a low number of replicas. Uh, our solution uh, to these uh, challenges uh, is uh, called Reef, and it works uh, basically by uh, placing groups of um, F plus one replicas uh, in each region, which are then able to provide uh, the guaranteed rights uh, to the clients uh, without having to wait for the wide area communication. And this basically looks like this. Um, the client sends uh, its uh, request to its uh, local uh, leader replica. And then afterwards, uh, just run an agreement uh, protocol as usual. But uh, we don't uh, have to wait uh, for wide area communication uh, before we can uh, send uh, the guarantee back to the client. So this, uh, yeah works around quickly. Mm -hmm. We was also able to uh, uh, yeah, execute a regular requests in a strongly consistent way. Um, and this works by having the client send this request uh, to the leader, uh, which then together with its group um, assigns a sequence number to that request. Uh, but 
Right now, we can't execute uh, the request yet uh, because there are still gaps in the sequence numbers uh, which have to be closed first. And therefore, uh, the group has to wait until it receives assignments from other groups. And once these have arrived, it can execute the request and send a reply back to the client. Before I'm going to explain uh, how the, the coordination between the groups work, uh, we have first have to take a closer look uh, at a single group. Uh, each group uh, runs a variant of uh, Paxos uh, where uh, the accept messages are broadcast uh, to all replicas in order to avoid uh, white area uh, round trips and uh, we've restricted uh, the leader to be one of the replicas uh, of a group and all other replicas, uh, also these from other groups, um, then uh, are tasked with um, accepting uh, the proposals and broadcasting the accept messages. We combine this uh, with optimized uh, accept quorums, uh, which uh, just require messages uh, from F plus one uh, replicas uh, to assign a sequence number. And this uh, allows, in normal case in which uh, all replicas in a group are still working, uh, allows a group uh, to assign a sequence number without having to wait uh, for wide area communication. The price we pay for this is that the quorum for leader election grows to uh, n minus f uh, replicas, but uh, the leader in the normal case uh, is stable, so, so this is a good trade off. Uh, also, to make uh, sure uh, that replicas, uh, or to ensure uh, fault independence uh, for the replicas in the group, um, these are placed in uh, different uh, availability zones uh, in the region to uh, reduce the risk of uh, correlated failures. We've seen before uh, that uh, execution uh, is blocked and um, there are gaps in sequence numbers. Uh, so the idea behind the group coordination is uh, to have all replicas uh, propose uh, sequence numbers with the same counter at roughly the same time. The problem with this is that uh, a group uh, only has a slope of view and does not know uh, which uh, messages are still uh, in transit. So um, we need a way uh, to estimate this, uh, these messages. And for this, uh, we let uh, our leader replicas um, send new proposal messages every 20, message, 20 milliseconds, which contain uh, all messages uh, which have been queued at a leader. And we can also combine this uh, with uh, measurements of the communication latency between groups. And together, uh, this uh, allows uh, a group uh, to predict and estimate uh, the progress uh, of the other groups and adapt uh, its uh, proposal speed uh, accordingly uh, to make sure that the groups stay in sync with each other. So now on uh, to evaluation, I'm just going to present uh, one of the experiments uh, which uses the distributed queue uh, with uh, clients that enqueue and clients that uh, dequeue messages. Uh, the enqueue operation uh, is able to make use of guaranteed rights, uh, whereas the dequeue operation uh, is just a regular write operation. Replicas are located in uh, Sydney, Frankfurt, and Ohio. And we, for experiment, uh, we place uh, 60 clients in the signal of these regions and run the experiment uh, for each of the region. Uh, for Mencius, uh, we have one replica in each region, and for Weave, uh, we have two replicas in each region, which basically gives us uh, the setup from the previous slides. The proposal interval is uh, 20 milliseconds, and we've also built an um, uh, enhanced uh, variant of Mencius called Mencius Star, which is also able to provide guaranteed rights. So uh, we look at uh, the clients in Sydney. Uh, we see that uh, we've uh, for regular writes uh, basically only takes half uh, the time, the half the response time uh, as Mencius, and this is a consequence of uh, the differences uh, how the group coordination works. Uh, where Mencius uh, requires a full uh, network uh, round trip, whereas we've just has to wait for uh, the in-flight proposals to arrive. 
can also see that uh, for guaranteed rights uh, that Weave uh, is able to consistently uh, provide uh, low response times of less than 21 milliseconds, whereas uh, Mensa Star uh, it, it benefits a bit uh, from uh, the guaranteed rights still takes roughly 100 milliseconds or more. So to sum up, uh, we uh, can provide uh, guaranteed rights without having to wait for white area communication. To conclude my talk, um, we've presented a uh, weave, uh, which uh, uh, groups, uh, places groups of uh, F plus one replicas in each region, which then are able to order the requests uh, without having to wait for white area communication uh, in order to provide uh, fast guaranteed rights, uh, yeah, which helps uh, solving the problems that problem that uh, clients need to uh, wait for high wide area communication latency even if they don't need to reply. Thank you for your attention and I'm happy to take questions.